see about the emission learning approach to predict thyroid disease at early stages of diagnosis then we are going to see about the overview of our project the main objective of our project is to predict the thyroid disease based on symptoms by using different machine learning algorithm classification based machine learning plays a major role in various medical services in medical field the salient and demanding task is to diagnose patient health condition and to provide proper care and treatment of the disease at the initial stage recently thyroid disease are more and more spread worldwide the main goal is to recognize the disease at the early stages with a very high correctness vision learning techniques plays a major role in medical field for making a correct decision proper disease diagnosis and also saves cost and time of the patient the purpose of this study is prediction of thyroid disease using classification the system is developed the different machine learning algorithm such as knn and decision tree for predicting and classifying the thyroid disease effectively finally the experimental results show that some performance metrics such as accuracy precision specificity and specific sensitivity so this is the overview of our project this is the flow of our project so what are the models is present or done in our project first we have to take a thyroid data set as input so the input was collected from some data set repository like kaggle uzi github and so on then the collected data set or carry out to data selection model here we have to select your input data by using pandas package then uh, we have to implement the data pre processing model here we have to use two different techniques one is the handling missing values other one is label encoding handling missing values means we have to check any missing values is present in your data set if you have any missing values means we have to replace that missing values by zeros or non values then label encoding so here we have to convert the string into numeric integer for machine readable so the pre processed data are carry out to data splitting model here we have to split your whole data set into test and train test is used for prediction train is used for evaluation so after splitting your data so these data are carry out to classification model here we have to classify your whole data based on symptoms by uh, using a decision tree algorithm and knn so the classified data uh, with the help of a machine learning algorithm we have to predict the thyroid disease or not so if it is disease means it is a early stage or critical then finally we have to estimate some performance analysis like accuracy precision recall and f1 score so this is the flow of our project now we are going to see about the demo of our project so this we are running our project in spider ide from anaconda navigator so this is the output of our project so this is the first model data selection uh, Uh, as discussed so we have to select we are selected your input data set by using pandas package here i displayed some sample of data from your data set our data set size is uh, about 2000 so we can't display the all these rows means just i will di uh, i displayed some sample of data then pre processing so here we have to check missing values so these are these are the counts of missing values is present in corresponding columns so this is the missing values zero means there is a no missing value so after handling missing values so all the columns contain the zero so after, uh, all the missing values are replaced by zero then label encoding so this is the string which is present in our data set so we have to re convert that string into numeric integer value then data splitting 
so here we have to split your whole data set into test and train actually most of the data are present in training part and smaller portion of the data is present in testing so this is the total number of data is present in our data set so this is the total number of training data so this is the total number of testing data then we have to implement the machine learning algorithm so decision tree so with the help of this algorithm uh, we got 96 percentage accuracy after that knn so with the help of this algorithm we got 96.8 percent accuracy so when compared with these two algorithms so knn is efficient then prediction so these are the test data so just we have to predict either it is critical or not affected by thyroid like that then we have to compare these two algorithms in the form of visualization so this is the output of our project